everyone. Welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Right now I'm just standing outside in our dry cow and heifer pasture. And if you look behind me here, you can see an Angus bull. This bull belongs to Alan's dad. And we get a lot of questions of why on a dairy farm do we have an Angus bull? So I thought we'd get into that today. Now traditionally, the main reason that dairy farms would use beef bulls was for hard to settle cows, like River here. She ended up breeding, we did AI breed her three times and she did not settle. So we did end up turning her out with Uno or we could have went and AI bred her Angus. But that's mainly why, because beef bulls have a very good conception rate. Now you have dairy farms using beef bulls for other reasons than just a good conception rate. Now when you think of a traditional dairy herd, you can think of it as being a sort of hill where the majority of your cows are gonna be the top part of the hill, then you're gonna have some really good cows at the bottom side, and then some poorer cows on the other side. Which means that some of your best cows are giving you bull calves, which isn't ideal for trying to improve the genetics of your herd. So to fix that, then you can implement something like sex semen, which is something that we've done on our farm. Using sex semen then on the whole range of your herd is obviously going to result in more heifers, but you're still going to end up with some poor heifer calves then your average heifer calves, and then some really good heifer calves. That's where beef on dairy comes in. Using beef genetics in addition to sex semen is the fastest way to improve the genetics on your herd, plus make you a little bit more money on calf value on your poorer calves. So then you can go with sex semen and beef semen, breed your best cows to sex dairy semen, then breed your poorer cows beef semen because those are genetics that you don't want to continue into your herd. And I know then you're thinking, well, any heifer is better than no heifer at all. But that's not always the case that you want every heifer calf you can get on the farm. With margins getting tighter and tighter every year, you want to make sure that the expense that you're putting into raising your heifer calves is going to result in a very good cow. Are you going to be a good cow? So here on the farm, then we can go and take a look at our cows and how they're doing with our DHA records and determine if that animal is one that we want to breed beef or dairy. I can take a cow like Millie here, who's producing really close to 100 pounds of milk a day and breed her sex semen so that her offspring will also be well producing cows. Whereas I can take a cow like Zelda here, who as sweet as she is, is really not that good of a cow. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> She's just not really putting the milk in the tank. So instead of going and breeding her Jersey and getting a Jersey bull calf, which is really almost of no value. I've actually seen people giving them away. I can go and breed her beef and get a Jersey Angus cross calf that has some significant value on the market. Now, typically dairy farmers are breeding their cows to Angus bulls. And that's honestly because the Angus breeders have really cornered that market. So that when consumers see a steak or burger and it has that Angus label on it, they just assume it's better quality, whether it is or not. You just burped right in my ear. Here's one of our Angus cross heifers right here. She's two years old here right now, so. So she's a half Jersey, half Angus heifer. But she's got a nice build to her. This is our Angus cross heifer December. She was born December 1st of 2019. So just a little over two years old. She'll be calving here in the spring. So her mom is a Jersey Holstein cross. So she's kind of a three-way cross. But here again, really nice built animal. This is Ernest. Hey, big guy. He is another one of our Holstein Angus crossed calves here. He's right now, he'll be one of ours that we'll raise up to butcher ourselves. But yeah, I mean, really nice, nice built body on him. It's figured by the end of the year this year, there'll be 3 million dairy beef cross calves born. That number is expected to rise to five or six million by the year 2025. So breeding dairy cattle to beef is something that's really gaining momentum. So now even with breeding part of our herd, Angus, we're still getting more heifer calves than ever by breeding our best cows to sex semen, which also means that the quality of our heifers is improving every year. 